Hey, ladies and gentlemen, got a couple pieces here to go over with you if you've got a little bit of time. Uh, these are the Bruins. These are the old timer Bruins. And um, th these uh, two happen to be uh, USA made. Um, you can get these um, in a bunch of different variants. Um, you could get this is the uh, old timer, uh, same knife as these two here, except this happens to be the Chinese made uh, one. And um, nothing wrong with this piece at all. If you can see, I mean, the fi finish is good on this one. Uh, it's locked up tight. Um, and I tell you, I like this blade probably a little bit more than that one because it's a little bit more of a spear. Um, it really looks good. This blade really, really looks good. I love this blade. I love this whole blade, um, this uh, style. I love it. Um, so if you can't afford or if you can't find these two, your option is here. Or I got another option for you. They make these in a lot of different um, st um Brands, brands. They make these in a lot of different brands. You can see here that this one is a browning. This one is a browning. I got this one from uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I paid $15. $15 for this piece. And there's not a thing wrong with it because I've carried this thing a lot. I've pocket drop this thing a lot and I've carried this a bunch of times and it held up nothing wrong with this little piece I like it because it's comfortable in the hand you got this FRN uh covers I don't know what kind of covers that resembles is it like a jigging or I guess it would be like a jigging of some sort but it's comfortable in hand nevertheless now this is a Chinese uh, one. This is a Chinese made one, which I have no problem. I don't really care. That's fine. Um, I give you a comparison. So there you go. The blades are slightly, slight. You know, they're slightly different. They're slightly different. Um, but nevertheless, you can pick both of these up every day all day long so these are pretty cool these are pretty pretty cool as a matter of fact i got two of these because i use them so much um i always want to have one on standby because i use these and i love the blade on this just love i can it's so simplistic but that blade man oh my god it gets me going man i mean they're so it's so pretty it's so pretty to blade. So you can pick these up um, just about anywhere, guys. You could do a Google search or whatever, and you could pick these up anywhere. Like I said, this one was picked up at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. You could probably find this one at Smoky. And this one, well, you could find this one anywhere you want. Uh, Amazon, you name it, you'll find it. Just type in... Um, the uh old timer brewing it'll come right up it'll come right up um what else here's another piece you know what this is right this is probably one of my absolute favorite patterns it's a side buster we always everybody talks about the side buster i love this knife i mean and just think here you go there's your there's your side buster because it's so the blades are so uh similar look how similar they are but yet but yet they're a little different this is a little different but don't they look wonderful though don't they just really look i mean uh, tell me that they're not absolutely beautiful tell me that they're not beautiful and these are all affordable knives these are all uh, knives that everyone could afford um, uh, and you're you're getting a really really decent uh, product if you buy one of these here 
So that's the, um, this is my case. That's my case. Just to show you a comparison, that's the side buster. And here's the comparison with the both USA uh, made ones. I didn't show you this one yet though. This one I love. I searched for this one high and low. You know where I saw this one at? I saw this one on Richter's channel. Richter Knives showed this knife on his, um, on, on one of his videos, one of his videos. And I'll tell you, it, it was so beautiful. It had teeners on it. He had his for a while, but his, I mean, the, um, the, um, the saw cut, uh, bone was all worn in. It was all worn. The brass was all worn. It looked beautiful. It looked, excuse me. It looked absolutely beautiful. And I said to myself, I said, if one ever came up, because you can't find these. I'm just going to tell you right now, you cannot find these. If you find one of these, you let me know. It's a uh, USA made Schrade uh, 50T. That's what, that's what you're going to, um, that's what it is. It's a old timer. But if you can find one of these, you let me know. In this color configuration, the uh, green saw cut bone delring uh, with the brass, uh, the brass inlay, brass uh, pivots, um, brass um, uh, bolster, brass liners, and it's a lockback. But this is a beautiful piece, man. I love this piece. I can't, it's probably not, I'm probably not, there you go. That's probably about the best I could get that saw cut in there. But I love, I, I don't mind Delrin at all, guys. I like Delrin. Is it something about it that I like? I don't know. But I, I even like Jig Delrin. I just like the way it, I like the way it feels in my hand. I like the way it looks. It's comfortable. It doesn't get cold in the winter. Um, it, you know, it's got, it's tough. I mean, Delrin is pretty, they say Delrin is strong stuff, man. Delrin is strong. Um, but nevertheless, I just love this piece. I love, love, love this piece. And, um, just a comparison again with the Saudi. You can see this has got more of a belly. This Saudi's got more of a belly than that's magnetized. That's got a little magnetism to it. Um, but I just, this has got more of a belly to it. See it down here. I don't even want to touch it cause I'm going to cut the dickens off my finger cause it's so sharp. I put an edge on these things, man. All of these, man, it takes a wicked, wicked edge. Guys, you should see. Let me see if I could get this in. It's the glare. It's it's the um it's the shading in this room that's terrible, man. I mean it's just terrible. I gotta do something about that. The shadows are just terrible, man. But this one, um, I sharpened the ever-living daylights out of this one. It got a little wide at the tip, though. That's my fault. I'll admit to it. I got a little wide at the tip. Oh. I mean, you can just barely put your finger on it, and you can tell that it wants a bite, man. It's a biter. It just wants a bite, yeah. And it's so, so sticky. It's like that sticky fruit roll-up sharp, man. Um, but yeah, Rector made me get this one. Or he didn't make me get it. I, I'm surprised I found it. When I saw this one, I was like, oh, man. Shot the guy an offer. It was brand new. With papers. It came in box with papers, brand new. It was not cheap. It was not a cheap knife. But, you know, I wanted it. I loved it. I love the green uh, saw cut on this one. 
against the brass uh, bolster. I just think it goes, I just think this knife is worth it. I, I just think it's worth it or else I wouldn't have bought it. You know what I mean? I wouldn't have bought it if I didn't think it was worth it. But just one more look at it. I'll let you guys get down the road, I guess. I don't know why lately I'm getting all these knives with the uh, pivot showing through. That one really, when I got this, I was like, why is it showing through so much? But it is what it is. You can see how nicely that saw cut's done. And um, that's about it, guys. Take a look around this case. This is it. This is the new purple. This is purple. I know it's hard to see. Uh, it looks black. You know what I mean? It don't look. You'll never tell that that's purple. But if I turn it to the side, you can kind of make out that it is purple on the edge, maybe. But it's the new purple one out. The uh, case uh, double X, Saudi, purple. Love them. Love these. Love these knives, man. So that's my two for Tuesday, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Drop me a comment if all possible. If not, that's fine as well. I hope everyone is doing well out there. Hope everybody's doing uh, just trucking along and doing their thing. And um, yeah, I guess that's it. I guess I'll catch up to you guys in a little bit then. You guys be good, be well, and above all, please be safe. And uh, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Thanks, guys. Take care.